if you've been staying up late or waking up early to watch some you know, live sports on TV like the Korean Baseball League and you do not know what team that you want to root for, well, I mean, this is the video you want because I'm going to at least try to help you pick or help you decide on what Korean Baseball Organization team that you will like. But let's start off with the first six teams ever in the Korean Baseball Organization. The Haiti Tigers, the Lot Giants, NBC Chongyong, OB Bears, the Sammy Superstars, and the Samsung Lions. I believe I have mispronounced a few of those things already, so I do apologize on that. But the fact that the Lot Giants and the Samsung Lions are still a part of the KBO from the original six, now there are ten teams here, so you got to think that this is on the up and up. And it's actually, from what I've seen so far for the past three days that it's been on ESPN, I'm actually starting to like in a few teams, and I guess uh, I'll have to tell you who my possibly teams are later on in this video. But let's just start off first with the NC Dinos. It's that we saw the NC Dinos versus Samsung Lions on the first night uh, or the first morning of watching uh, Korean Baseball Organization. But the NC Dinos on December 22nd of 2010, this is a, a video game company from NC Soft, submitted a plan that it wanted to found a baseball team that would be later admitted to the KBO as a member of the franchise. So NC Soft is a video game company, so you know for a fact they're having a video game type esque of here's the like this is what we are about i honestly perfectly love this because of course as a video game channel or just being sports in general no sports games that i've seen from searching at nc soft but i wouldn't be surprised if hey why don't they make a kbo baseball game that's like i don't know like I don't know, 2d or something like that it'd be kind of cool to see but uh, this is one of the newest teams in the kbo as they joined in 2011 they led the kbo in home runs in 2019, so this is a team that is going to hit bombs. Aaron Altera, former Philly, and Met is on the team as well. This is also the team that Eric Thames used to play for and won the MVP as when he was in his time in the KBO. That's your NC Dinos. Going into the number team, the Doosan Bears, uh, most recent champion. They have six titles. They are, they're mostly a construction company that makes a lot of money. That's all I can think of or find out what Doosan is because since they are all a part of a corporate type of base company that own these teams. So you're going to see like a lot of teams like kind of like LG that we know what that is. Samsung, we already know what that is. I told you what NC is as it's a video game, but Doosan is a construction company. So now moving on to Samsung Lions. They have eight championships. The Samsung Lions was founded in 1982 as one of the original six KBO league teams as I alluded to. If you don't know what Samsung is, well, then you're kind of crazy because they have what, c cell phones, TVs. I have a Samsung. T I have a, used to have a Samsung TV. I'm trying to think, did I ever have a Samsung? Uh, no, but I think I have a Samsung soundbar. I do have one of those. I mean, they make computers, any type of tech you think or are trying to think of right now. Samsung has made it. That's something that they have. It's that they have their hands in almost anything tech-wise, and that's why Samsung is still around, and that's why Samsung Lions. I mean, they have eight championships. So that's they're good. They're saying they're good, even though the NC Dinos have made them quick work for the first series of the KBO League. Let's go to the LG Twins. Two Korean championships and three league championships, as it says. They had it before they merged to the KBO. LG Corporation is a holding company that operates worldwide through more than 30 companies in electronics, chemical, and telecom fields. So we already know what LG is. They have, I think LG is like a isn't like a type of a, a, inter, a service for LG. Like I got no LTE is LG. They've made phones. I I know I've seen an LG phone from back in my days of growing up in the middle school age. You got to get the LG phones. That's what that was the thing of the, of the time. So that kind of holds a near and dear place to my heart, LG. But I don't know if the twins are my type of cup of tea. Also, I hope you've all enjoyed the the photos I've thrown in here when I've been making these. Try to find something different uniforms wise. So that's why I'm trying to help you differentiate on what team you'd actually want to pick. Yeah. Now let's go to Lote Giants. They have two championships. They are owned by Lote Corporation. The Lote Corporation consists of over 90 business units employing 60,000 people and engage in such diverse industries as a candy manufacturing, beverages, hotels, fast food, retail, financial services, industry, chemicals, electronics, IT, construction, publishing, and entertainment. So, Lote Giants, even though they have two championships, they have their hand in almost anything and everything that involves in Korea or even around uh, such as diverse industries that they do a lot of things, which is kind of crazy and ridiculous. But, hey, I mean, two championships, I think they might need a little bit more. The 
Akumum Heroes. Akumum is an investing agency that deals with management. They were established in 2008. I have I couldn't find much information on these guys by doing my search as my my one hour search of trying to find anything and everything to deal with the KBO and these teams. So the they do have some sick uniforms. I, I do give it to them to that. They have a kind of cool looking uh, like a, a buff looking uh, mascot so that's kind of cool mascots are a big deal over there it's a big eye eye drawing and guess what they have cheerleaders as well so if you're a big cheerleader type type of fan they have them i i know you see all those uh i don't know what you want to call them the, the rally people at the sporting events well i mean they have cheerleaders here at the kbo and they're always moving and always doing something and they're always seen there's the Kia Tigers after the Coombe Heroes. The Kia Tigers managed by Matt Williams, a former All-Star for the San Francisco Giants and Arizona Diamondbacks. 11 championships in the KBO, the Kia Car Company with a great engine. That's why they're called the Kia. That's why the Kia owns them because 11 championships in KBO, which I believe that's the most they've, that's ever happened or their team has had. So this is like your New York Yankees over there, the Kia Tigers. And in fact, with a car, a car that I grew up riding in, Kia, it works good. I, they have a great engine. They have a great car company. So <laughs> that's the Kia Tigers. The SK Waverns. Waverns, Waverns, Waverns. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if I pronounced that right. They're a four time champions. The Wavern is a legendary bipedal dragon. This is a fun fact with a tail, often ending in a diamond or arrow shaped tip. That's what a Wavern is. In South Korea, Wavern. In South, in South Korea, wireless telecommunications operator is part of the SK Group, one of the country's largest chables. So that's what the SK is and the, for the Waverns, wireless tele telecommunication operation. So that's what they are. That's interesting. Didn't really know that. Didn't even know they had a big thing just like that there. So we're, we're, we're learning stuff as we go along. The, ha the Hanwha Eagles, they have one title in their league, and this is a large business corp conglomerate that was funded in 1952 as Korea Explosive Co. The group uh, has grown into a large multi-profile business conglomerate with a diversified holding stretching from explosives, their original business, to retail to financial services. Explosives. And they, do they have explosive balls off the bat? And you know what I'm saying? They're hitting bombs left and right. One title, come on now, Eagles, you can do better than that. The KT Wiz, the newest founded team in 2013. KT Corporation is abbreviated for Korea Telecom and South Korea's largest telephone company. So I gave you the team names, the uniforms, the mascots all popping up as I talk. What the KT and the Wiz stands for, the Hawa, the Eagles, all the, all the corporate people who own these franchises. So... Let me know in the comment section down below what your team is. And I believe right now, I'm stuck between two teams right now. The NC Dinos is one of them because, of course, the video game aspect. Plus, they have that cool, ripped kind of mascot of the dinosaurs. And plus, you got Aaron Altair on the team, which is the, the first person that I saw. I mean, you got Tyler Saladino for the Eagles is another person that I saw, too, that kind of stood up to me. Oh, an American guy. I watched him in the play in the majors. So, I'm kind of, kind of grabbing, like, Trying to go to them. But the KT Wiz, doing some research on them. I do love their uniforms, the black and white style with some red piping. And then you have their the mascots there too are like, they're very scary and like kind of evilish. That's why I like it because people will kind of flock towards that type of thing. And with the culture in Korea, they, they like those animated type figurines and stuff like that. Plus they have a huge merchandise section. I mean, I, at some point I got to get some NC Dino stuff or KT Wiz stuff. Right now it's between the two. I'm going to put a poll up in the right on which team I'll let you vote on which team that I should root for or like go up to this part of the, the box and it's going to say where to vote. There's like a little eye right here, but thank you for listening and or watching this video. Uh, I hope to helped you out a little bit on what to understand what the KBO is. I may be doing a weekly or daily updates on the KBO franchise. Maybe you see some scores. Maybe you see how many bat flips happened or something like that. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Baseball's back, but in a different form than we thought. But you got to think, Major League Baseball is just right around the corner. Just make sure you stay safe, wash your hands, and make sure you keep practicing that social distancing. Have a good one.